Hey guys, Andy with Fathom Offshore here. Uh, so today we are going to talk a little bit about how to rig up a high-speed Wahoo uh, trolling setup utilizing shock leader, trolling lead, and a lure. So we get this question a lot. People kind of wonder in which order they go and kind of why and how. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, ultimately, we got three pieces to this setup. So we have a uh, pre-rigged, one of our pre-rigged 24 ounce um, trolling leads. Now this has a 400 pound stainless steel ball bearing snap swivel on one end. The other end's a loop. And then we have one of our 30 foot ball bearing uh, shock leaders. So this is 30 foot of 300 pound premium mono with a 400 pound ball bearing snap swivel on one side, stainless steel snap and on the other loop end and then the most important part is going to be your lure so for this demonstration we're going to use one of our sr71 stainless steel uh, trolling lures so this guy's pre-rigged the way that we sell it it's on stainless steel cable about four foot and it has a double spun 920 stainless steel uh, single hook set on it uh, you can also get it with a double um, and it is a 7691s uh, mustad 110 uh, okay so um, we know there's lots of different ways to kind of uh, set your boat up and do this type of thing. So we're just going to kind of talk to you a little bit about the way that we do it um, and the way that kind of our rigs are set up for it so that hopefully that helps. Um, on our boats, typically we have a ball bearing snap swivel on our main line. Um, so ultimately the first step of that is to connect your main line to the loop end of the trolling lead. Okay. Um, then on the other side of the trolling lead, you have your ball bearing snap swivel. That is going to go to the loop end of your 30 foot shock leader. All right, so you're just going to connect that. And then on the other side of your shock leader, we have the other 400 pound stainless steel snap, and you will connect that to your lure leader, whether it's mono or cable or whatever lure you have and just go ahead and click that guy in. Okay, so ultimately you have rod tip to loop end, trolling lead, shock leader, shock leader to lure leader. Um, so what this is gonna do is allow you to, the streamline of this uh, trolling lead is gonna allow you to go fast and keep your baits down and in the water depending on how fast you're going. So uh, we currently do these in 12 ounces up to 64 ounces. Um, the nice thing about our stainless steel ball bearing um, trolling leads is we've actually gone ahead and poured the lead over the cable and there's a crimp in the middle of there. So I know a lot of the time you're used to seeing sliding trolling leads or um, they may be poured but they don't have any type of um, uh, ability to secure that. And when you're pulling these things for you know 8 to 12 hours a day at you know 12 to 24 knots, they take a lot of abuse. So we wanted to make sure that was locked in. Uh, so that's done. And then this shock leader kind of, if you have a Wahoo going at however many knots coming in hot on your bait and you have a boat going at however many knots going the opposite direction, there's a lot of force on that uh, bait when they hit it. So the shock leader kind of acts almost as a spring, a little bit of a buffer so that you're not having just hard, um, you know, connection uh, jamming force there uh, where you could potentially lose a fish. So that's the, uh, the advantage there. And then typically when we're Wahoo fishing, um, if, we're, if we're pulling lures, um, we're going to have some type of, of um, stainless steel uh, leader on there so that uh, if the fish hits a little ahead of it or a little behind it, um, you're not getting cut off and you still have a chance of hooking that fish. So uh, that's how it works. Um, that's how we do it. Um, click subscribe. we got a lot of different videos coming up over the next couple months. And uh, come on back. Check us out. Thanks.